10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team ban. Dire team pick. Radiant team pick. Gyrocopter! Spirit breaker. Dire team pick. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Queen of Pain. Dire Team Ban. Radiant team ban. Dire team ban. No. Radiant team ban. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team pick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a game that doesn't matter, but should be fun anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's the TI... It's the TI-5 China Qualifiers. Wings has already advanced. They only needed one game versus HGT. They already got it. Of course, so. um, LD, I'm joined here by Zayori. Hello. Are you excited for the game that doesn't matter? I'm pumped up. I got a lot of sleep, so I'm ready to cast uh, a fun game. Hopefully, we get to see some fun picks. Uh, well, let's see if we have any fun picks. And no, not quite. Wisp is pretty fun. So I haven't gotten to cast any of Wings Gaming. Have they been running Wisp pretty consistently? Is that their this, jam? This is the three of the old rising stars players okay. uh, or if you remember dream time from the ti4 qualifiers right. oh right yeah this is the team with super with the small s yes. support super Five so they, they don't have air anymore of course he's on a he's on his on hgt so it's a battle <laughs> of old teammates but yeah super is known for his wisp play uh, and china was a pioneer for the hero they ran a tiny wisp actually you see tiny was banned first stage they gave away the wisp it's, wow it's almost like hgt wanted to bait them into the pick but hey for wings well, I guess these are the, the two teams that actually run Wisp consistently mm -hmm. in this qualifier, so not surprised to see them battling over it. HGT have a pretty good medley of heroes out of the gate. Gyro, Spirit Breaker, and Viper. Still not quite seeing that team cohesion, though. Interesting to see them pick up all three of their cores with their first three picks. I guess the Spirit Breaker could be a support, but I think more yeah, likely to be their offlaner. We've seen it. I would say primarily as an offlaner in China, it feels like it's more yeah. the Western teams that like the, the support Spear Breaker. Yeah. I'm actually kind of torn. I, I generally feel like the support Spear Breaker is a bit better, or if you're going to run them offlane, you want to be able to rotate them out of the lane and into that ganky roll fairly early on. Yeah, it works really well in the offlane if he gets a fair bit of space. If it's a greedier lineup or they don't have the best zoning supports. Uh, we saw a game just the other day where he found level 6, like on point with the mid-heroes, and that's when the Spear Breaker gets really scary. But if he gets zoned out, then eh, not so much. He's great at bullying Wisp Five in general. Just, yeah, very difficult to get away from him, has a lot of stun to cancel a potential relocate. Also just great at Reserve finding the Wisp. Time. You know, you try to hide in the trees, if he ever sees you, he can just charge you and 
know, you're not escaping his wrath. Yeah. Well, at least they've got the Viper to try and dominate that mid lane a little bit against the Queen of Pain. Assuming the Queen of Pain will be mid with a Wisp, they could always do like, uh, well, I was gonna say Wisp of Bristle mid, but he's been banned out. Hmm. I'm kind of curious who the Wisp partner will be this go around. We've seen, I think we've seen a, what else have we seen? We saw a Viper Wisp the other day. Oh. Uh, obviously not going to happen here. Well, Shrak is kind of decent. Storm used to be a popular Wisp partner. Mm -hmm. um, I actually haven't seen Wisp Lesh, but there's a lot of nice synergy there. Give Lesh that extra movement speed, all that mana. That's, that's pretty dirty, actually. Yeah, and they are a bit squishy early on, but if you get like that baseline of farm, then it can be really effective. Yeah, yeah, they both suffer from low armor, especially early on. So Earthshaker, I mean, they could grab Shadow Fiend here and put the co-op somewhere else, back. like in the safe lane if they wanted to. This is uh, very stock standard from, from Wade's Gaming. I, I mean, I imagine they don't want to show anything that they actually have up their sleeve. Mm -hmm. So that part doesn't surprise me, but it's a bit open-ended, though. Hard to read how they want to set up these lanes. It, it looks like a Corlina for sure here, which is, is, is a change-up. We have not seen much Corlina at all. Is there any core shaker in uh, in this tier of China? Remaining. Is that a thing at all? Is there any kind of off-lane shaker? Because we see that in the West Basically, sometimes. no. I, I think remaining. I might have seen one yeah. off-lane, sh like pseudo off-lane shaker. It was one of those like heroes kind of time. sharing the experience type of lanes. Yeah. But yeah, not much of like what Yoki likes to do, right. for example, from Empire. Okay, so I, I guess a safe lane Lena perhaps could it be Lena Wisp. I've never really seen that combo, but Radiant team pick. not the most not the most synergy. And I mean, HGT just banned out Sven. That's another one that we didn't mention that could have been pretty good here. Hmm. Yes, Sven is actually quite good potentially with Wisp. At the same time, uh, oh, so you know who else is an option is. Well, actually, CK, no. Is that what you're gonna say? C not versus Gyro. I feel I, like yeah. Gyro is so good against that. Yeah, exactly. Sven isn't really even the best this game. They've got a lot of ways to kite him. The Viper Strike, Spirit Breaker, all of his abilities basically. Gyro's ult is quite good. Yeah. I feel like where the Sven really excels Five is versus like the Illusion carries. This but they, actually, they do ban it anyway. This so. feels like a good Storm game to me. They don't have any silence and they don't really have much in the way of hard stuns. You've got Spirit Breaker, but that's that's kind of about it. I can tell Kinesis as well, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess the issue then is how are you going to lane it if you go for something like that? Like Queen of Pain could maybe go to the offlane, but they have a lot of burst damage and zoning potential for her. It could also just be a, casual, a kind of a casual wisp. We saw HGT do that the other day where... Solo mid wisp? Yeah, he sort of started mid to help that, and then he moved to the safe lane and was just sort of a, a general positive force around the field, and it wasn't a, a classic one-to-one -one wisp partner. But they will get the Skywrath Mage. That helps cover their bases in case it is indeed a storm pick. Get themselves a silence to try and lock him down. I'm actually going to... I have a computer now, so I'm going to take a Ten look at the, the hero remaining. list. What else do we have? Naga? Naga? I, I, I don't think if they run Five that here, they want to show remaining. it, though. Yeah, PA is an option. Could be an okay PA game. Yeah, Ten PA is pretty good. Remaining. Viper, Spearbreaker, and Gyro, all very heavy physical and right-click damage Five dealers. And Ember Spear is great against Tim. Mm -hmm. And they have... At initiating on him, but it. Just yeah. run him down. down basically. Yeah. And Ember does have. Time, you know, why not? It's XDD. Yeah. It's the big thing. And when you're in the safe lane, sometimes you're. Maybe not to keep you alive, but to... Probably a Spirit Breaker. Maybe a plus one. Will absolutely require assistance. Yeah. Breaker pretty far back, and if he's level two at like the four minute, all right, H. <laughs> Did they it's settled again? So, I guess the uh.
the perfect You basically see like Like, ten heroes in one part of the map, then like, they looked, looked like they all just teleported to the other side of the map. And then like, a few of them start dying, and then like, they teleport back, a couple more die. Yeah. Well, the best are the spells like Supernova, where they go off and then you see the actual animation like seconds ten seconds after. Bad. So people will just sort of randomly get stunned, and then yeah. your screen just implodes with this huge Supernova explosion. And it's, uh, it's always a challenge. Yeah, it's like the Rax, the Rax is killed, and then like they're already killing the throne, and then all of a sudden the Rax dies. It's like, what the hell is going on here, man? Yeah, I know when they were having uh, server issues at Dream League, the way OD Pixel and Draskal handled it was they would just trade off frames. So they would do crazy play-by-play -play for one frame, and then Draskal would take over for the next, and they would just go oh, Here we go, they are actually fighting oh. right now. There's oh a Fissure coming out, and in goes XDD, and out goes XDD right back to the well, and we are still lagging, but he's dead. Well, Gyro gets the first blood. Very nice start here for HGT. Quap will be able to blink safely and brutal. All right. Well, that is not the start you want for Ember. No, definitely not. And not the start you want to give the enemy Gyro. They they buy him a TP. He'll quickly head towards top. But so how will these dire lanes settle down? Looks like it is the lane Earth Shaker. Actually, doing the solo off lane Shaker that we talked about. Maybe it seems like it. I mean, they don't really have another great off laner. They could try for an aggressive try lane, but it probably probably would be double melee, and that's rather underwhelming. So. Okay, I like it. I, I think it's it's pretty pretty strong overall. We've seen, like you mentioned, Yoki is kind of the pioneer of that strat. He's really dominated with it. It's turning into an aggro try lane for HGT though. XTT, the Spirit Breaker will have some support coming his way. Kaka and the Rubik will rotate, uh, as well as the Skywrath. They have a nice lane ward though, so they see all this movement. Not going to be the easiest land to get into. But at the same time, HGT have a ton of damage here. So I think with the Spirit Breaker as the frontliner, they can be rather aggressive. Lena is going to TP out. If they know this, they may look to make move Queen of Pain getting heavily harassed here off the bat. Yeah, the Lena TP's bottom of all places. So it will be a... Uh, and an they're showing it too. Lena lane. And I, now I wonder if they're going to start giving farm to the Lena and, and the Earth Shaker will become more of a support or if she's supporting the Core Shaker in the bottom. I'm not sure. I mean, generally, I would say Lena's going to use the farm better, but... Yeah, me too. Vigilai is the, the offlane player for the team, so... <laughs> looks like they are giving him the CS early on. Yeah, and I, I'm not sure why Lena's attack. rotated down, though. I feel like in July, he can't really win the lane against Gyro, but he'll still be able to farm some, get, get experience, and with just the Gyro, it's hard to keep him completely pushed back from to the creep Perfect point. world. Just... Is that... Kaka from HGT that paused because it looked like he was an observer. Yeah, that's weird. There must be but an observer named Kaka because he's not tagged up as. Yeah, he's also got the capital K. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like super and super Kaka and Kaka. I guess so. You have to go by capitals. Oh, hey, I guess if Perfect World want to pause the a game in their own qualifier, they can damn well do it if they please. I think so. I won't be the one to question it. I like that set that ZSMJ is rocking here. I recognize that. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's my set. Here we go. In July, starts it off with a Fissure. They have a charge coming, though, and Fissure's on cooldown. Lena's stun is not a great way to interrupt this. This could be very bad for July. Uh-oh. Oh, you can get the stun on the Lena as well. In July, start to move through the tree. LSA does connect on ZSMJ. Rocket Barrage. Oh, they just need the one bash here. Yeah. Do they have the... It does have level two, yeah. Yeah, the Rocket Barrage was split between Lena and the creep, so kind of minimal damage there. Good presence of mind. Uh, didn't just try to run. Turned for the stun, which helps secure the retreat. This is and now they're just going to go mid. Everyone musical lanes. Yeah. This is a brutal mid lane, though. Both sides, neither really farming that well. Both denying very heavy. We'll see Ember get harassed up top. Uh-oh, Telekinesis. Do they have the damage? Skywrath Mage with one more Arcane Bolt. They're going to get it. Yes, they will. Pretty Hall secures the kill in the top lane, and that's the second death for XDD. Yeah, he, he, saw, he saw a potential kill. Rave, waving the red flag in front of the angry bull, but yeah. Meanwhile, bottom lane, all aboard the feed train here. You know, 
knows exactly where he's likely headed. Blood oh, July is here. Decent fissure, but XTT might be able to charge in a bit further. He's just going to work on three heroes simultaneously. They do have the, the tri lane bottom emerge. Is there going to be a TP from HGT? It doesn't feel like they're going to damage though. Can they actually kill XTT? Well, if you connect with the LSA, they'll get it. Boy, that was a slow swan. When I said all aboard the feature, and I meant HGT were getting aboard the feature, <laughs> just to just to be clear here. Nice turn around for Wings, and they are doing this kind of casual wisp that I mentioned, where he's just moving all around. He was supporting up top, and now he's just trying to help out all of the lanes. I feel like the Queen of Pain is the one that really needs to help, though. Viper, 13 and 10. That's not a winnable matchup for Queen of Pain. This is... You, you cannot level Shadow Strike because of Corrosive, but... And you get outranged anyway. You get out CS because of the, the passive Nether Toxin, and, and he has that. You really have limited kill potential. I mean, if you get the right runes and you have the high ground advantage, maybe, but oh, do we get one more batch here? No, no, no okay. boots yet. It's normally by four minutes you have your boots on Spirit Breaker. Exactly. This is, I mean, what did I say? Spirit Breaker at level two at four minutes is bad news bears, and you see it right here. He just doesn't have the kill potential, even against a, a solo Earthshaker. Can't find any any kills. Meanwhile, that he says arcane boots. He's living the life. He is. Yeah. It's a great thing about the the core shaker. They are gonna make breach high ground here. They're looking for super. They'll find that tasty ball and they're gonna toss him. He has the tether to the north. Super puts on his Nikes and no boots retreat. though. Is that SMJ still wants to pursue? He's got black cannon online. Just needs one more. But searing chains connect. Oh, it's out of tower range though. Maybe he dives for this. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Okay. Wisp barely lives. Meanwhile, Viper agree, yeah. is almost dead mid lane. Queen of Pain goes in He's on going this. Air is going to turn this, though, with Nether Toxin. He might be able to get the kill. Oh, oh no. no! All right, it's going to be a one for one. He dies from beyond the grave to the. I think that was to the. Well, just to the poison. Yeah, just the. the uh, I was going to say, how is he dying to the Corrosive Skin? But um, Queen of Pain gets the kill first. That's actually pretty big. She gets all the XP out of that. And now Lena will get a little bit of solo time in the mid lane while they're, they're both in the grave. I mean, that was close, though. You see how tanky the Viper is against the Queen of Pain. He almost won that. Yeah, that, I mean, that kill really shouldn't happen. Viper should not die to Queen of Pain. But just play a little cocky. Air was very low, didn't want to leave the lane, and I, I ultimately at least gets the counter kill, but really nice for the qual. So is that, does that put her at level 6 now? No, not quite. She's still struggling, but they're, they're leveled out in experience, so that deny advantage that Air had is now nullified. That's how hard he was winning the lane. <laughs> exactly. She gets the kill, and oh, or the experience for the kill, and they're still about even on levels. Yeah. And who's that? Oh, it's the Spirit Breaker. He's getting some alone time in that bottom lane, man. He's getting the, the recovery, now level 5, has his boots up. Maybe he can start making some plays around the map. But meanwhile, in the top lane, we'll see a fight break out. XDD in trouble once again, takes the silence from pre Hawk. That is just trying to chase him down. They may not get that kill. It's in July that gets pulled back. Rocket Barrage, well, here comes the cow. They're going to wipe all three. In July, run down. XDD likely to be next. Oh, He's trying to God. retreat up. Out comes the nukes. Pretty hot with the silence. They break the flame guard. They need one more arcane bolt. They don't have the mana. Almost wiped the trap. Wow. Still a two for nil. Great trade for HGT. Close call, man. And this is just a, a bloody massacre early on for HGT. And, and they've got to be let off some steam after the getting knocked out of the tournament in that game one of the series. Yeah. Got all that anger. Do they have a go here at air? Sonic Wave comes out in July, falls forward, and the Queen of Pain will find the kill. But now XTT, he wants a counter kill. He'll turn. Oh, he's in July. He got the creep. Keeps up on the Quap. Yeah, that was. They're cool. gonna. They might go back in on him. Enchant Totem's coming. They have a Fissure soon. Quap sipping that bottle. Okay, nicely played by in July there. I'm not sure if XTT actually could have gotten the kill on the Quap. Because he was assuming that the Blink was coming off cooldown, so she'd be able to just jump away. It is a level 2 blink. I'm really wondering uh, when we see this Ember start to move around. So far, he's just been sitting top. He gets the phase boots. He definitely needs level 6 before he can start. He's not very farmed, to be honest. A 20, 26 CS, but the, the two deaths are just crippling. At this. Normally, at this stage of the game, you'll have like, at least a Bracer. Or bracer and drums. probably the Robe of the Magi, I would say. So this MJ almost going down bottom, but he turns. He wants to fight. Lena Lane in the right clicks will find the kill. In July, he goes down on the other side. He gets a one point to get things started. Now it's Lena versus Skyrath. LSA off the mark. Dragon Slave will be there. Arcane Bolt just to poke her and try and push her back one more. Meanwhile, top lane, huge dive. XDD going in on Kaka. Gets the kill. The super IO. Just the math that makes it out. Yeah, good idea for Wings to get aggressive up top, seeing those TP rotations down to the bottom. Radiant's they know that supports aren't going to be able to come attack. up. And that Rubik is food. Quite a few remnants are now parked on the top side of the map in case they want to make a, a go on somebody who rotates in. 
Didn't end up needing them in the end. I think he might have been out of mana, but uh, know. <laughs> things getting exciting on the uh, the Yasha stream. Yeah, I, I hear Toby going nuts. <laughs> well, this one uh, a little bit slower paced early on, but yeah, Wayne's looking to heat it up. They're moving towards Radiant's the bottom side. Seer is a little attack. six now, so this is uh, an interesting time for him. Even if they try and jump on him, another strike very potent at this stage of the game. They are smoked up, but. A little bit hesitant to, to engage this. XTQ walks right into it. Fisher has started off. LSA to follow up. And the Space Cow is going in. down straight away. He tries to charge through. But There's only one way out of a, a three-hero pile up for Spirit Breaker, and that's straight in. But not this time, man. Yeah, wrong place at the wrong time. He, break the, he broke the smoke, but yeah, walked right into it. I haven't seen Air really. Oh. By the way, he's, he's no actually boots. fallen behind no quite a bit. Look still. at the network. We're nine nine minutes minutes minutes. Under. Yeah, no, we're nine minutes in, he still does not have boots. Kaka survives the sleight of fist as ZSMJ makes a rotation. Close to getting a double kill there, but ends up getting nothing. Yeah. And, okay, he wants boots now. Yeah. Kaka. He's decided the naked mech rush is not for him. Quap with two no tallies here. She wants this early edge. Viper Strike comes out. I don't know if the Queen of Pain can win this. She definitely wouldn't have, and will now feel the hurt of the Viper's poison. Yeah, she wants to soften him up and then go back in after a couple of bottle charges with the ulti, but yeah. it seems like she's... Oh, actually, where is her bottle? It's, it's on, on the courier. It's on the courier. She's trying to crow, but that recent shit making it difficult. Meanwhile, in the bottom mm -hmm. in July, he drops a, a, a YOLO Echo Slam. Not quite enough for the kill. I'm not sure if that one was worth it, but... A noble effort. Spectacular dunk. <laughs> All right, so Quap's got her bottle back. She had to kind of walk back to the well almost to get it. The courier is just so slow Dyer's when it has a bottle now. I feel like pretty soon it's going to start. Radiant's it's like you're going to have to pull the attack. courier. <laughs> You'll be playing a me game like you know, like Mario Party, where you just have to spam a single <laughs> button or something. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll just constantly be like magnetically attracted to the fountain. Yeah, I, that, See, that'll be the next step. It seems the frog is not too keen on bottle crowing in general. It's just been. If it's just been nothing Radiant's but nerfed over the past few patches. Well, attack. if he really wasn't keen, he could just remove it. That's true. That's, that's very true. It, would, it makes certain heroes just not viable mid is the thing. There's, yeah. there's just some heroes like Magnus that are they're never going to win mid. Yeah. Even getting runes can be a challenge for some of them. And it's just all about city mech, bottle crawling, spam your nuke. And yeah. I think a lot of people would argue that the bounty Radiant's runes were an, an attempt to try attack. and bring down, reduce the amount of bottle crawling. Hello, Cut Cut up down bottom. He'll get uh, stunned, but Kuma Kalina isn't quite there. They can't bring him down. Now the rotations fly through. They finish him off with a Laguna, but Lina will pay oh, with her life. Dash. Can they get in July? XTT should have a charge coming up soon, but it's a double damage. Quap that joins the party. In July turns around. Skywrath Mage almost brings him down, but the stick charge is keeping him alive until the Nether Strike needs secures a the kill. Needs a bash. Queen of Pain still with a double damage on. XTT needs to be careful here. She's getting aggressive. She's got the ulti scream combo. Does she have the mana? Just barely, but not with the blink. Doesn't want to risk it. Oh, he's for the ult. Gets all the way back. Oh, they're going to go oh. down. No, the Queen of Pain didn't do the math on that one. Oh, little RNG she, there for the Space Cow. She didn't have, she was, she had 350 mana, which is not enough for Blake Scream and Ulti. So she tried to bottle up, walk in, and deliver the combo before blinking out. Uh, to give her time to use the bottle. But during that time, she got a little hesitant. Where is the Spear Breaker exactly? Then the Charge Bash comes out and, yeah. That's all she wrote, man. And then right after that, up top, Ember Spirit tries to finish off the tower. They kill the Ember, and then they deny the tower Radiant's next to his corpse. That attack. is just a double whammy of victory for HGT there. Oh, the other thing was that uh, you know lost vision of Kaka, which is why the Laguna Blade didn't come out right away. Mm -hmm. uh, but eventually got the vision and ended up, ended up finding the kill. We get another one here. Make sure they punish that Rubik. Queen of Pain's still doing very well, though. We talked Radiant's about how much she was struggling in the mid lane, but her attack. rotations have been pretty on point and consistently staying at least 500, 600 net worth uh, above the Viper. Right. Yeah, that solo kill just completely changed this game. Mm -hmm. Not something you see very often. I, I feel like, you know, Air maybe not taking this game super seriously after the, yeah. the devastating defeat last time around. Not yeah. going for even bothering the boots for 10 minutes in a row. Oh, here we go, set up on the air. Even a relocate coming in. They really want this Viper kill, and boy, will they get it. Yeah, credit will go to Queen of Pain for the fight right now on the other side of it. The Nether Strike's enough to bring down the Wisp. Now in July, caught inside of the call downs. He'll fall, XDD, he's in deep. He's trying to rendezvous with you know, but the Skyrath Mage will have his ulti. This declares it. Here's the kill. Huge Sonic Wave all over HGT. Do they have the cleanup? Queen of Pain wants to finish off the Stragglers. And she's just the hero to do it. 17%. What a chaotic fight. Four for three, favoring HDT. 
That was, it's always fun to play Spirit Breaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the oh. Rocket Barrage goes off, just removes the Flame Guard, and then... Give me a bash, first hit, swings the lantern, <laughs> Ember dies. Uh, just, I feel like the fact that, he, that his things. weapon is a lantern also makes it hurt that much more. Well, I know? think in Dota 2 it's actually a mace, but uh, I mean... Oh, it is I'm a mace, a, you're right. I'm a Warcraft I, Actually, you know what? I always thought heart. it was... I think he's got a lantern in the other hand. He's got a lantern in one, mace in the other. Okay. So. He swings the mace. And in yeah. Warcraft 3, I believe he actually swings. Oh, yeah. Or at he, least I, I seem to recall that. He, uh, if not, that's what I remember, so what, that's what all that were matters. those orc units called that he was based off of? I can't remember anymore. Oh god. They weren't called spirit breakers, were they? I think they actually were called spirit breakers. I believe. Now I'm, now I'm gonna have to look Yeah, now I'm second guessing myself, I don't know. Uh oh, he's charging again. They want you know. But he will cancel it. Queen of Pain, man, she is just balling out of control now. Rubik did steal the Sonic. Spirit Walkers. Walkers. Spirit they were called Spirit Walkers. Walkers. Yeah, there you go. I knew it was Spirit something. Yeah. They had the thing that uh the spirit link where like you would cast on your team and it was like the opposite of fatal bonds where it, it helps like it distributes that it like reduces the damage on each unit by distributing it yeah. across them instead of like amplifying the <laughs> it really was the opposite of fatal bonds actually i forgot about that i wonder if that's i guess that's probably where he got the idea for the spell yeah that's pretty cool yeah that's sonic like that uh, sonic wave in the last fight though was just brutal yeah, this has been an excellent Queen of Pain game. I mean, Queen of Pain has been just one of the heroes of, of this patch, it honestly feels like, across all regions. You see some heroes like that, that just are kind of ignored in other regions, but Queen of Pain has been a universal constant in, in 6.84. What, what are we on now, D? Is it C? Is it, I think it might be D. I think it's D. Called out on two. This could be big, Andrew. OK, though, now the charge sets up. This could be another chaotic fight in the mid lanes. NSMJ gets stunned. Triple remnant for the big damage. They destroy the gyrocopter. Now pretty Hall on his way in. Mystic Flare connects on the super. He might have the damage to finish him off. I hear that Spirit Breaker in the background. He'll drop the hammer all over the Lena. One for two in favor of HGT in July in a very awkward position here. He does not have a TP. But I don't think they'll find him. That's a that's a good little little nook there that's pretty Radiant's hard to scout. And there's your Shadow attack. Blade. And now Fire's things get very sad for a lot of attack. heroes on wings. If you don't see the Spirit Breaker coming, you're as Wisp you're dead. Earthshaker, you're pretty likely dead. Lena, I think you're pretty dead. Yeah, I think he can solo any of those three attack. heroes unless there's someone to unless they have vision and they're able to interrupt the charge or bait him or uh, if they just happen to have somebody nearby. Yeah. The Shadow Blade on Spirit Breaker feels like it's becoming the new standard, and it's it's really strong, actually. It gives you a way to initiate on heroes like Ember Spirit, and you can't find it so easily. In July, walking in deep, a tether across, Super trying to save him, but can't relocate out in time. Actually didn't have it off cooldown yet, so no hope of saving it there. Super will actually pay with his life. Double kill for the Skyrath Mage. Meanwhile, bottom lane, uh, that's a big kill. That's a streak for the Skyrath. I mean, they got the Queen of Pain. Yeah. That was the one hero that was just dominating for wings, but it, it seems now they're in danger of falling apart. Mm -hmm. Wow, Air with a 16-minute mech. That is very atypical for him. He's he's more at that, like, 9-10 minute mech on Viper and more often than not. Yeah, attack. it's a bit slow. Oh, Charge coming in, and they don't see it coming. He goes right through the Ember. Uh, deeper onto you know, XDD. It is the chains, and I guess they, they might have been cooling down there, but... It could amount to a whole lot in the end. Yeah, now in July, they know where he is. Viper putting in those poison attacks. He's been slowed down pretty hard, just trying to get vision for that concussive. In July, makes it to the high ground. This could be his escape. Run, cow, run! Yo, oh, he turns to the fissure, and they get the vision they need. And another YOLO Echo Slam from in July. It's just not enough. Super, he'll pay with his life as well. It's a bloodbath. Wings gaming in trouble. Three down. HGT, did they get that tier one tower in the mix, or is that this, their objective? This Spirit Breaker is just out of control. He is, he is. like single-handedly winning the game for them, I feel, at this point. Yeah, now he's level 11, too, so another I mean, Air lost mid as a Viper versus Queen of Pain. I don't, I, don't, I mean, maybe the supports help check the runes and stuff, but it's not like they were dual laning by any stretch. Yeah. That shouldn't happen. The, the Gyrocopter was not really having the best time of it. All about the Spirit Breaker. Now the five man really favoring HGT. They'll get another kill on XDD. Laguna comes out from Lina. Not enough for a kill. And now they'll just chase He's it. He's going in. Down. Oh. They dive the tier two. And it's another double for Pretty Hall. <laughs> a little bit of a last hit there for him. Yeah, yeah. definitely take that. The, the mecha, I believe, also make a pretty big difference there for Air and yeah. the rest of the team. And they, yeah, Like you said, they're just at Dark Ball status now. Yeah, Queen of Pain, the only one. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Some Shadow Blade Spirit Breaker is just, it's just not something Wings can really deal with. Yeah. 
So what do you think about the Aghanims versus uh, Orchid first item on Queen of Pain? I feel like in this qualifier we've seen a lot more Aghanims Radiant's first compared to the West where we see almost attack. exclusively Orchid first. I really think it's situational. I think there's more situations where Orchid is the better item, but I don't think either is necessarily better. Like, mm. if you're going to be team fighting a lot, then I think the Ags is definitely the way to go. If you're really trying to split push or dealing with heavy push and want to be able to deep push better, I think Ags is also better. Oh, well, there used to be a Wisp there. <laughs> I mean, he just can't be off on his own anymore. Yeah. He wasn't even really, the Ember was close, but he can't even be visible anymore. Yeah. Um, but. I think outside of that, Orchid's generally the safer item. It gives you more right-click damage, it, it's better for the mono regen. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's more, is it one of those big attack. team fight games or games where you need mass wave clear from Queen of Pain? Yeah. Or is it a any other game, basically, where you just want the, the versatility of the Orchid? Spirit Breaker, he'll be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Three-man squad drops him. <laughs> That's an unstoppable streak. Yep, Dyer's and the Earthshaker will get him. That might be his blink, honestly. He will be very close to it, if not... Yeah, 1,500. He so. just got half the blink gold with that one kill. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, well, ha ha he closed the distance remaining by half. Yeah. Tower is under yeah, I think it was Sindarin that told me yesterday Dyer's that uh, if you if you can really maximize the use of the Orchid, Dyer's you can get... There's more potential with it, uh, because you don't need to use the ultimate as much, because you can bust up your damage, but very situational you need. In July, well, all that hard-earned money, some of it all goes through really as he gets brought down pretty hard in very deep, staying alive for a surprisingly long time. Good call. Yeah, covers the path of retreat. And that's another unstoppable streak, but this time going the other way. XDD finishes it off from, uh, from Pretty Hot. I don't think he can really go in there. The air is a, a bit too strong. He's going to probably run it back in one. No. Flame Guard's Great. gone. Air stunned up by the LSA. He does have to follow up behind him. This Viper pretty tanky he's, at this stage. He's way too big. He's got the Oak Club and in is coming the Spirit Breaker. Mind you, this is going to be ugly in a moment. They get the charge forward. Now the Nether Strike coming through, and they want a little bit more. They're going to dive onto you know who turns and accepts his fate at the hands of ZSMJ XDD. Looks to Remnant away. He will lose the Gyro, but they might get XDD here. They have the charge. They do. Would it have made a difference if the Gyro uses drums there? I don't know. He still would have died. Would have, would have maybe made the difference. Oh, XDT, the charge gets interrupted by in July. He gets telekinesed off he the side. He stole the fissure. Oh, mama. He almost fissure blocks in the ramp. Oh, and, and he makes oh, it out. No. <laughs> Not enough mana for the chains. Close call. And his wand was still on the He cool had, oh, he used the Shadow Blade. Oh, my. I thought he was going to charge Shadow Blade in and just try and ambush them, but would have been a pretty risky play. Yeah. I feel like Queen of Pain is the hero keeping wings in this game right now. She's still number one on net worth by a pretty healthy margin, about 1,500 still up on the Viper. Spirit Breaker continuing to stay aggressive. He'll charge in July, cancels it, but still has the Shadow Blade on. <laughs> this is awkward. Skywrath, he's in the lane, still has quite a few seconds left on the Shadow Blade. Nope, not going to go for it. Instead, maybe Super. Oh uh, my. <laughs> okay, well, that uh, went a little bit differently. <laughs> it was not how I expected that thing to go. <laughs> I don't know why he just backed there. I mean, he might have died, but it's still, he just needs to get some of that. He could have at least killed the worst. That was weird. Ooh, Lena gets a big fatty here. It's like, uh, actually, it wasn't as big as it seemed like. Just a bunch of the little baby golems. They, they look more satisfying than they are. Yes. yes. Oh, here we go. Kaka in the wrong place at the wrong time, but Skyrath made on the low ground. Who's going to kill who here? It's a one for one so far, but Super Telekinesis should die to the Skyrath mage. Will indeed, but now the Queen of Pain. Now the call down. Everybody wants to get in on the feeding action. Is he a buyback from the Wisp? Oh, there's the relocate in. That'll finish off the pretty hard, but SMJ, he might be both here. of them with the missile coming in. No, the remnants arise, SMJ. He's going to get beaten down by the angry ancient wait LD. Air is coming for the cleanup. I mean, it's a fiber. He's going to like slowly flop his way in for the cleanup. All right. Uh, I had higher hopes there, but now the Blink Dagger on the Earth who also is now level 11, so perhaps we'll see some big Echo Slams become a reality. This has been such a clown show of a game. <laughs> 32 to 21 at 22 minutes. Yeah. We're like, what, two and a half kills per minute, I believe? Roughly. Something like that, yeah. That's about right. I'm not complaining, mind you, but that is impressive. It's pretty bloody. HGT holding on to a lead, but not really pulling away with it quite yet. Wings are still... Feeling pretty healthy. Charge down bottom in July. He's in deep. 2.4 kills per minute. Nice blink dagger, dude. Who's the real <laughs> cow now? 
That's true. Cow on cow. That was a lot of gold for that Earth Shaker. 456. I wonder what XTT is going to grab next. How does he itemize? Is that a BKB? Or the beginning of an Agonims? Mm, I hope it's an X. Me too. It's not really a... It's not really a Halberd or Silver Edge game, so... Yeah. I think it is, uh... Yeah. I think the eggs would be the most fun item anyway. The yeah, eggs is a weird item. Then again, I wouldn't have complained breaker. if someone picked Techies and Bloodseeker. And, I mean, they true. gave us this, so... <laughs> techies tiny, man. That's really where it's at. What was that game where it was like the Techies strat? They had a uh, Tiny, Techies, Pudge... I think that was Secret did that in... That was one of the first Techies games we saw after he got added to uh, Captain's Mode. I mean, I think it was a game where like they had already uh, like advanced or something. It was, was a just game just like this where it really didn't matter for anything. Yeah. And they played that anyway. was fun though. It was it was very. They fun. know how to they know how to put on a show for their fans. Yeah, yeah. I bumped into Danny Dem on the ladder uh, like last week, and that they did that strat against my undying, and it was not fun. There's one way to demoralize your enemies: throw them into Techies' minds. <laughs> uh oh, Smoke does get revealed here. Now the Whoa. point does. They wanted air on the fight, but they might pay for it. They call it out. Pain rains down from the heavens. The wings have been clipped. There's only one left alive, but XDD, does he have the Exodus? It doesn't look like it. Arcane Bolt chasing him down. Missiles flying from the skies. Actually, he may make it out. I Arcane know, Bolt after man. Arcane Bolt. They'll dive him deep. It's a five-man wipe for just the Viper. Less than ideal for the Dire team. Element. They almost didn't get the Viper. <laughs> they barely died there. They had to drop a Laguna, Echo, and Sonic Wave to kill the Viper. HGT. I mean, where was this team last game? They gotta be picking themselves now. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I mean, to be fair, I think we would play a lot clappier than what they would if it was a, a game deciding, or a, a, an advancement deciding match. They ran once before a professional match by Wings against Navi in the DAC wildcard qualifiers, actually winning as well. <laughs> That's funny, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Wings has actually done the Techies Tiny Strat. But not here. Yeah, Wings is a, an easy team to underestimate, I think, because th they were the team that came out of the open qualifier. So any team that has that that label on them, Limmer boys, the stolen fissure connects on two, and they just slaughter him with his with the. Uh, I think that, that was the reveal to Glimmer Cave too. So they they were not quite ready for that one. What an item! That has to be one of the I, I think coolest and just most ridiculous items. Oh, here we go. Relocate out XTD. But he gets silenced almost right away. Sonic Wave connects on both, but kill pretty off first. Now XTT trying to make the escape. Oh, that's called out. BKB combo could be really scary here. Wisp gonna end up relocating back, but he doesn't take anybody with him. No, actually, everyone lives, it looks like. Well, that was a 10 second BKB from 30 second J, and now it'll expire. They'll get caught by Chains, LSA, Laguna. Can they actually bring him down? Lena gets that one last auto attack, and they secure the kill. Okay. Thought that gyro might clean house, but it goes the other way around. <laughs> Clown shoes. Yeah. Now they have to be Kibby on air. <laughs> how, how much must it suck to be the Viper? This is the most boring hero, possible hero out of <laughs> all ten. Yeah, air is had kind of a weird game here. I feel like he's just spent a lot of time by himself farming, and then in the team fights, he's the, the one with the target on his back because he's the mech carrier. And just a, a beastly monster in general. Yeah. Now smoke uh, by the way, I, I guess we haven't talked about the scoreboard, but that is a 17-5-8 Scarath Mage. <laughs> he's been involved in 25 kills? Uh-oh, XDD, one more bash and he's done for. Oh, but the remnants there. He could have nether striked that a bit earlier, I think, and come to kill. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Mercy was happy. Oh, now the relocate coming in from the backside. Wisp brings in the Earthshaker, blows forward, sets it up with the totem, and yeah, they've got plenty of stuns. That'll be the end of the killing spree here for the Spirit Breaker, and Wisp gets a 600 gold bounty out of that. Wow. That's a surprising amount of gold for the Wisp, actually. He, now he really wishes he had nether struck that. Yeah. We just get that Ember kill. Okay. Well, HGT still holding on to a lead, but not in the cores. It's really all about the supports right now. You look at the Rubik and the Skyrath. They are pretty wealthy relative to the Wisp and the, uh, the Earthshaker. Battle Fury is out on XDD now. Fisher, Blink, Mystic Flare, the combo plays are coming out here for HGT, but they don't get any kills out of this. In fact, they're going to turn them pretty off. They can nuke them down. I thought they had a little Guna there, but it was actually no mana for it. Defensive so. Yule, buy some time. Now the call down setup. ZSMJ has BKB. Popped it right away. XDD stunned. Almost brought down. Remnant to the high ground. One more auto attack and they'll find the kill, but instead they want Wisp. 
Figure. Big Queen of Pain ultimate on this SMJ. BKB's ward off. They mech him to try and save him. One last nuke from you know will end him. As they look now for a try and they have to save up the blink. Lift him, drop him, another strike him for good measure. Really turn for a very depressing dunk and he dies anyway. He loves the pre death echo slam. So if I'm going down, I'm doing as much damage as I can. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, it's XTT going for this? Oh, come on. Live a little. Live a lot. Uh -oh. He's got another strike. XTD definitely needs to be careful. Some XTD on XTT action. This is this is my favorite homebrewed movie. <laughs> I I cannot believe how many of the Chinese players' names are so similar. Like you've oh, got yeah. XLL, XDD, XTT. You've got X, the MMY's old name. Uh, you've got FY Fenrir. Well, they're not that similar. I mean, like all the three numerical digit names, you know, 357, the, the old twenty. gaming was the worst because they had ZYF, ZD, Z, ZYR, so they had all these Z names. I mean, then you've got three Tongfu teams, two newbie teams, two <laughs> Vichy gaming teams, LGD used to have LGD C deck, now they're just C deck. It is not the most casual friendly viewing experience, that's for sure. <laughs> then you've got two supers, lowercase super, uppercase super. <laughs> There's two Kaka's, we've got Kaka the player, Kaka the Admin who's pausing the game. I mean, average kills per minute in this qualifier has been 1.22. In this game, it is 2.37. So that just speaks to uh, how much blood has been shed so far in this 30-minute match. I, I would, I will, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind if more of the games are like this in the qualifier. Yeah, we've had a pretty high level of action overall, but yeah, it's, it could go the next level. Yeah, the th this tier of the Chinese teams do tend to play a, a little more aggressive, I think, than some of the, the top tier Chinese teams that will always just take that safe route and, ah, let's just farm a little bit more. Really? I feel like it's the opposite. Really? I guess I'll, actually on this patch it's a little bit different, but you look a few patches ago. And I feel like, if anything, these teams way. aren't as confident in their execution, so they won't push the lead as much, as, uh, at least what we've seen lately. I don't know. I, I guess IG is the big culprit that comes to mind where, if, unless it's like a five-man wipe, attack. they will not risk it to push the high ground. They, they've been playing very, very safe in general. So wow. almost to a fault. That actually. is the that is the burning factor. <laughs> yeah. I prefer with Tensu and Winter a lot when you the DK squad. But oh here comes the fight now. That was a nice defense to relocate the call down comes through and Urshaker able to blink himself back towards safety. You know we'll be the one who gets caught out of position here though. X up and kept alive. Radiant Everybody survives. That was a miraculous escape. It's almost like nobody oh, died nice when the Titanic got sunk. Yeah, that was a very quick ancient seal there from Pretty Hall. He was trying to tether back, couldn't quite get it. Now in July, he's on the high ground, wasn't quite ready for it. Viper hops in, BKB on, Viper strike finishes up with the Sonic Wave! Connects on four from HGT. Is the follow-up damage going to be there? Only Skyrath page in the well for now. Buybacks coming from Wings Gaming, and HGT will be repelled. Now they get punished for their hyper-aggression. Echo slam on two. Air and Kaka in trouble. They'll both fall. Bing, bang, boom, kaboom. Four dead, and the cow barely makes his way out. Yeah, he'll charge away. He actually had, like, I think less than three digits of HP there. He managed to barely walk his way out of the middle of that fight. So that was almost a team fight. Yeah, that team fight recap, not very inclusive. There were more buybacks used than just the Urshinger, I think. Yeah, if you pull up the buyback chart, uh, yeah, there was one on the Wisp as well that didn't get counted in that recap, so... Not quite as big of a gain as it may have seemed, but still... It was, it was still pretty big. Yeah. Well, wow, Wing's gonna maybe look towards the Roshan here. Mm, well, looks like they should have it. They're reasonably fast with the, the Wisp, the, the Queen of Pain. Yeah. With four in the grave, they don't even really need Minus Armor to do this in a, in a timely manner. Right, Wings, maybe looking to... Maybe the whole strat was to just bait HGT into a false sense of security. <laughs> And then crush their hopes. This through. whole 30 minute bloodbath has just been bait for the late game. <laughs> Next level shit. What does the Ember Spirit have now, though? He should be looking pretty far. Do you feel the battle here? Yeah, I think it's gotta be. No, it's a Yasha. He is up against Skyrath, so okay. Manta's Manta off pretty silence, legit this yeah. game, I would say. Yeah, that's true. But you also have the Wisp to somewhat protect you. That, then again, you never know. If the Wisp is going to be alive in these fights. This Shadow Blade yeah. Spear Breaker makes life. I actually do like the adjustment to go for a slightly more stats-oriented build rather than just going for a second Battle Fury or right for the crit. CSMJ. Corner. She can see the corner, but he's quick on the BKB. Dodge avoids the initiation. Now turns on the super. The reload game is going to end up getting this ball of energy kill. That drops the gem, which oh, they just no. picked up. And they're going to lose, you know, as well. Okay, four kills one way. Let's get three right back the other. HGT, oh, no. this was their ultimate plan. 
bait that. Wings into thinking that they're baiting HGT into a false sense of security. If it, if it wasn't for the relocate, I, that would have been a, a stomachable exchange. But the Wisp coming in, carrying the gem, and basically Dyer's just suiciding him. Mean, he didn't do anything attack. there. And handing over the gem is almost bigger than the three kills. Just oh, it's, and the, they have no way to see Dyer's the Spirit Breaker coming now. There's, and they have no towers at this point. Just the tier two bottom, really, so... That's a Radiant's gigantic fight. Yeah, Queen attack. of Pain now has a BKB to go with her Shiva's Ags. So she's still ready to fight. They're gonna have to make the high ground siege here. Wisp is... Actually, none of these heroes have buyback. Wisp has his on cooldown, but Lena and Earthshaker both lacking the gold. Now the charge coming across onto XDB. They've got the silence as well. No escape for him. The Nether Strike and the Bash is on the Queen of Pain. She couldn't even BKB. No buyback. She bought the Shiva. She doesn't have it. Oh, she went all in on the BKB. She didn't even use it. Oh my gosh, LD. The Queen of Pain throws are serious. That Shiva's... Oh... I, I think... I think she had the Shiva's first. Did I think she? she just bought the BKB. Okay. So it stings even more because that's the item she went all in on all and right. couldn't even use it. <laughs> I guess either way, it still buys the next item. She couldn't even Dyer's survive. Sonic Wave. Oh. And she is falling. like all of their damage output Dyer's right now, or at least all of their, their team fight, really. The Shaker can initiate, but it's Queen of Pain that gets the job done. Yeah. Well, that's a lane of barracks, at least one for HGT. The two big cores that do all the damage are in the grave for another 30 seconds, both without buyback. That's the glyph. I think HGT can Dyer's stick around and get another lane of barracks if they, if they want to go Dyer's for it here. Right. Now, this is where Wings five-man wipes them, walks down mid, takes a lane of Rax, takes the Roche, and we reset. Right? It could be. Let's see. Maybe can time. they do it? The Earthshaker has an Echo Slam. Will it be one for the ages? BKB used by XTT. The charge does get interrupted, and now Super. He's in trouble. No buyback for him. He'll be in the grave for a minute. In July, Mystic Flare. Poison from the Viper. See ya. No buybacks that he had, and well, this could be close to GG territory here. I, I think we're deep into GG territory. I, I didn't seem like it. It actually seemed like a fairly even game, but I mean, they've got five heroes in the top what is that, seven for net worth, four in the top five, it is. Yeah. They've got a Sonic Wave Laguna. Sonic Wave actually only connects on Kaka and Air, it looks like. They just have too much, too many BKBs now. Wings so reliant on their magic damage. The Ember just tickles. Yeah. It's over. Now Lina's dead. XDD trying to do what little he can, but just Yasha Battle Fury. Not really so scary at this stage. He'll still take a silence once more. Bash with the Spirit Breaker, and yep, there's follow-up damage. HGT, Womp. they will avoid the 2 0 so they save some face here. That's that's good. This was a team that showed a lot of potential. Moving like even a couple of months back, they looked solid at DAC. They ended up falling a bit short in that tournament. I guess at this point they, they may disband. It's kind of sad, but it's the nature of a scene built around TI. Yep. That's first and has confirmed this is the highest kill for any game. The Chinese qualifier thus far by a ridiculous margin. Relocate out, we'll yeah, keep uh, keep his friend alive there, but Yeah, oh my god. 20 gig <laughs> experience lead. Uh, or no gold lead. It, it's crazy how fast it that lead erupted. This was a fairly even game for the, the, it was the I think it was really at the shadow of its fear breaker. That's yeah. how much just completely fell apart. Yeah. And then once SMJ got his BKP, they started commencing the five man and oh a sacred relic on the gyro. Looks like they want to get a rapier before this game ends. Just sell the drums, pick it up, come on. <laughs> sell everything. <laughs> Build towards your second rapier. Right he, he's out of charges, so he might as well. Well, two lanes of racks down. Is that an agonims for the Spirit Breaker? Mm. No, nope, it's an agonims for the Rubik. Okay. Ooh. Pretty decent Rubik Ag Skip. There's three big ults to grab. It is, actually. And of course, the, the lower cooldown is really nice. For stealing relocate, it, you can steal it during that uh, kind of channel. It's not channel time. It's sort of cast I believe once the initial cast happens, like you once you it. once he starts the relocate. So it is a relatively easy spell to, to steal. Well, I mean, Wisp is always in the middle of nowhere, right? So <laughs> that's true. Yeah. But yeah, in the, in the sense like. Well, and you, I guess he usually tethers right after. So that's, yeah. I actually I have it wrong. It's pretty difficult to steal. Yeah. And it's also not that good to steal because. Yeah. You don't have tethers. <laughs> it's more just, I, I was trying to think of what would fit into our niche of clown shoes for this game, and I think stealing relocate definitely falls into that category. <laughs> Ooh, HGT. No, at, least, at least get a, another push going here. It looks like in a moment. Air. Oh, it's a Blink Dagger Viper. Okay, I thought he blinked in that last fight. Ooh, and the... Yeah, he's been going for this build consistently throughout the qualifier. He really... Yeah. It, it just, it allows the Viper to be relevant, because, I mean, the biggest issue with this hero, more than anything for me, is his lack of mobility in fights. Like, 
looking at a lot of these other heroes. Queen of Pain, Wisp, Ember, Spirit Breaker. Yeah. Even Scarth Mage is great move speed, so it just helps you chase. You just blink in with BKB, and, and they can't really quickly kill you. So then they have to focus you. But you have Corrosive Skin, you possibly have the BKB, as I mentioned, and you're just you're doing your job as a damage sponge. Yeah. Great for also just getting on the Wisp in this particular game. Yeah, that's a good point as well. Dyer's middle the wings. Is this the, the YOLO smoke territory here? Does the Quap still have her 10 second BKB? I don't think she's used it yet, actually. Oh, it's nine seconds. Okay, she did get it off now. Yeah, she fight. blinked in on the mid fight after throwing her ult, screamed, and then everyone was full HP because they all had BKBs and a billion health anyway. <laughs> and they mecked it out. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I gotta go now. It's almost rapier to your LT. Rapier hype! We saw one on the Weaver. Oh, yeah, you're right. The other day. I think they lost that game, right? Oh, yeah, here it is, baby. Some happy rapier. viewers out there. Rapier! Rapier, Rapier, Rapier! Who's gonna get those lucky drops for the ZSMJ Rapier? How many people got it? 83 viewers. Well, pretty good. I wonder how many are watching. Yeah, it's gotta it's be well into the five digits, I imagine. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so Jaro Copy, one of the best Rapier carriers in the game, given his flat cannon. We'll see what kind of crazy damage he can do in this fight. Let's see how long the wings last. They can't even fight it without it. They're going in now. Air blinks forward. Pretty Hall's going to leap in as well. Going on to the Wisp. It's not really the best initiation, but it's enough. They get the super kill. He's just been the punching bag this game. Yeah. Looks like one and being treated like one as well. They really want to make this interesting. They can just hand the Rapier over and see what happens. If they give it to the Ember Spirit, things could get very spicy. Yeah, they could. They could suicide the rapier in. Yeah. I, I think Wings might have a pretty good chance then. Could happen. Yeah, actually two of the best rapier carriers in this game. I, is there anyone better than Ember Spirit and Gyro? They are definitely two of the best. Dusa's very good. Dusa, yeah, that's the third one. The top, the, at the upper echelon. I mean, I think it's it's just the spread damage carry. Just, just use rapier better. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any others besides those three, though, that are like in that same tier? I can't think of one off the top of my head. I mean, I, I guess some of the cleave carries is nice on, but like the big ones are normally then. But Sven is normally just better with strength items because he it, it works with his god strength, whereas like yeah. flat damage doesn't. And so. he just he already has so many slot Sven issues. Sven never has damage issues. He just has like mobility and survivability if she yeah, exactly. He's always getting kited, he's in the front line. I mean even i I've seen like so many Sven Wisp games where they still kite the Sven anyway. Yeah. Yeah, the BKB change to have it uh, capped at five seconds. <laughs> comes the cow, but this time he's got the BKB. There's nothing they can do about this. Just Lena helplessly getting smacked around. That was just a celebration mystic flare there. That was, uh, we already it's like won. fireworks. What's we'll that? Yeah. <laughs> Victory fireworks. Oh. Sanj and Yasha on Viper. It's an interesting spread of stats. Any win rate stat involving rapiers. <laughs> it's funny uh, to see the disparity, though, how Medusa's is 58 and Ember's is 41. Well, because 41. Medusa is, like, the idea of Medusa is how much to just turtle and farm until you get your rapier and you're, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's actually a kill. It's actually a core item on her in a lot of cases, whereas Ember Spirit, it's, uh, it's like you're losing and you're desperate and they're pushing and you need the rapier. Yeah. Whereas the, and, and Gyro is the same thing, where it's just, it's very risky. Yeah, but I guess Medusa is just so tanky with her yeah. mana shield and all that stuff. And also just the way she itemizes with big stat items like Scott and Lincoln's and that kind of stuff. Item win rate stats are always, uh, yeah. Well, that one is interesting for comparatives across those those heroes, because I would still say that they're in that upper echelon of, of rapier carriers. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't think there's really any. I mean, I think it's still a potentially very viable item on certain single target carries, but I just don't oh, think yeah. it's. Oh, yeah, it's not really a go to. Shaker. Shaker could be fun with the enchant code on, but I mean, again, strength is good there. Yeah. Well, it's Dead Queen of Pain. She'll buy back straight away. And we are getting into the thick of it here 56 to 32. All right, when are they going to feed the rapier? Oh, could this be it? Here we go, Pretty Hall hops in. What is the gyrocopter? He's on his way, no call down, but he's ready to flat cannon down the dire side. Her shaker's already fallen, super taking a lot of damage. I heard a Queen of Pain ulti. The stolen oh, negative God. Queen of Pain all the oh, plays. That's dirty. And meanwhile, Spirit Breaker, he's just diving tier fours. There's no escape here. Queen of Pain he's goes got down. A charge. I think he's gonna go for it. He wants it. Oh, he's hungry. XDD. Oh, he actually stops it, but it's not going to be enough. He'll still die. Well, he's got a buyback, but Quap, she's in the grave for 90 seconds, and this could be the beginning of the end. 
Gyro took almost took some damage there. That's it. Wings <laughs> Gyro almost took some damage. <laughs> well, that's it. A uh, a fun kind of consolation game here. It's a nice dessert, the, you know, to the, yeah. the main course of the China qualifiers. But really, it's only an appetizer for the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. The playoffs are gonna be Sadly, HGT are not going to advance. I really felt like this was one of the top teams in China, but it shows you how brutal and cutthroat this format really is. You only get four series, mm -hmm. so it's a total of eight games, but it's like I kind of view them as just four units rather than eight, just because you play them. You play the two years basically there. Who are the four teams that have made it now? So, Wings, E-Home. So it's Wings, E-Home, Energy Pacemaker, and... Um, C deck, C deck. Yes. Okay, so I, I had three of my four. So it's right? C deck and E home who are going to be in the winner bracket finals, and it's Wings and Energy Pacemaker in the lower bracket round one. Okay, all right. So basically, either C deck or E home is guaranteed to go to TI. I, at least as a wild card team is the the upshot for today. Okay, so. I guess it's not really an upset, but Wings over HGT was the, the unexpected one there. I think the other three are fairly fairly predictable in terms of making the top four. Yeah, I mean, I think CDEC didn't look that strong coming in, but I, it seemed like the, um, that the 